this day forward, you will become sparrows, weapons in a global struggle for power. Every human being is a puzzle of need. You must learn to intuit what is missing, become the missing piece, and they will give you anything. Take off your clothes. Your body belongs to the state. Since your birth, the state nourished it. Now the state asks something in return. You must learn to sacrifice for a higher purpose. To push yourself beyond all limitation and forget the sentimental morality with which you were raised. When it comes to new films from Hollywood like Red Sparrow, a spy thriller directed by Francis Lawrence, People want to hear that it's either wonderful or terrible. They want to hear that they have to go or they have to stay away. Unfortunately, Red Sparrow is right in the middle. There are some very good things about it, starting with the acting. Jennifer Lawrence plays the main spy we follow. Charlotte Rampling, Jeremy Irons do excellent supporting work. But the story itself just doesn't have the snap, the crackle of the great John le Carré films, films like Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy or A Most Wanted Man. The story follows Jennifer Lawrence. She plays a Russian ballerina who gets injured, changes careers, becomes a spy, gets trained in the seductive arts of Russian spies, how to trap men to giving up their secrets. She goes up against Joel Edgerton, who plays an American spy, also very accomplished, very wary. There's a lot of back and forth between them, a lot of spy stuff, a lot of double crosses and twists and things you don't expect. It's a solid plot, it's a solid film, but it's not up there with the great John le Carré films. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.